As you guys may already know, I uploaded a video about installing Blender in 3 steps a long time ago. But a lot of you guys have problems with installing Blender because when you click on it, you will see something like this and the program will be closed for you. But I know the fix, so let's go with another tutorial for Blender Mobile. Alright, the first solution is installing the APK file of Blender, but I wouldn't recommend this to you guys because uh, it wouldn't work on every phone and it's also hard to access the phone files from here and you will have a hard time if you don't have a mouse and keyboard connected to your device. Okay, let's get back to the emulator. If you are having this problem, there is a high chance that your phone is using a MediaTek processor with a Mali GPU. And these are both economic processors and there is a big difference between Adreno and Mali processors. In compare, Adreno GPUs have robust and well-optimized drivers for desktop-like APIs, enabling better performance in compute-heavy tasks like Blender. Mali GPUs, however, have less optimized drivers, focusing on more mobile efficiency than desktop-level workloads. And that's exactly where the big problems come from. Okay, now let's have another tutorial about installing Blender once again from the beginning. Make sure to download Winlater and install it on your phone. And after that, you will have to wait to install the system files. After that, tap on the plus button. Now rename your container. I will go with my PC. After that, you need to adjust the resolution and I suggest you to have the lowest resolution possible. But I will go with custom. I will enter a full screen resolution. Now leave this part. Uh, go to the GPU name and choose an RTX GPU. Now leave this part also. Go to advanced and box 64 preset for stability and windows 7 you need to change it to windows 11 the newest one possible and tap on save now let's start the container now you will see a file manager but don't touch it let's go to blender website Now tap on download, now previous versions, download any blender and look for the 2.8 version. Now in this part you need to uh, pay attention to the MSI file, uh, otherwise you can't install it, only install uh, the .msi file. Now let's wait for it to download. After getting downloaded, you will go to here, double tap on D, and tap twice on date. So Blender will be the first file here. Tap on open. So after doing that, uh, if you are doing your things right, the Blender setup wizard should appear for you and you need to wait a bit for it to get prepared and after that you should click next and uh, check this box and click next again click next and now you should simply wait for the installation process and now we have blender on the screen so let's open this one and see what will happen wait a bit Yep, as expected, uh, it says we need a newer OpenGL version. So let's exit the container. Tap on edit. Now change the graphics driver to WeirdGL. Now click on this button. Now set the OpenGL version to 4.0. Then enter the container once again now let's see what happens you can see uh, uh, the blender is now running but 
it's not actually working. The GPU is failed to run Blender and we can see literally nothing and it's not useful at all. So what we should do now, we would delete Blender to install the older versions. Now as you can see we remove it like this and it's like another installation process but you should uh, keep doing it until uh, it will be removed. So now uh, let's uh, install the 2.7 version. But guys, you should pay attention, it's no more a .msi file, it's now an executable file and uh, after tapping on next, uh, the game will be, uh, what the, f the, the blender will be opened and now you can see it's working, yeah, you can see the adjustments. Yeah, I know, uh, me too, I don't really like the UI and it seems like that we can't change it at all. I don't know why is it so corrupted. So you can see uh, the render engine looks perfectly fine and we can use it. Uh, you can find the tutorials on YouTube. There is uh, still tutorials for uh, the older versions, but if you don't like it, you can also install this one uh, This is another uh, Alternative of blender and this is perfectly Working good, but you need to install the oldest and the first version uh, of this uh, executable file So you can run it. Uh, I tried the second one and it failed just like uh, the 2.8 blender so don't try this like me and only install their first version as you can now see it's all black like the previous blender and yeah but uh, you can see the UI is actually a bit different and that's why this app is made so if you are going to, uh, to the website you should install a 64 or 32 bit uh, version and it doesn't matter honestly it doesn't matter so as you know I recorded all of these videos on a low-end phone with MediaTek processor to install Blender on Windows platform but uh, I also tried to install Blender on something like Linux but it's very confusing I found it very confusing because uh, you should uh, run Termex and it can take hours of your time and finally with a simple error uh, you will be unable to install it and you just waste your time uh, yeah there were tons of problems with Termex and it was very confusing so uh, I said never mind let me know if you managed to install Blender 2.8 on your device and with my new settings you were uh, able to run new blender without any issues all right guys the video is over thanks for watching stay low poly see you in the next video